Hello, everyone. Hope you all are doing great. Uh, welcome to uh, our session of uh, Meet the Global Leader. So this webinar is all about um, sharing uh, the journey of people from different countries. Um, we actually share their souls, their student life, um, what they have been done so far. Uh, we try to know uh, their experiences, professional experiences, and uh, we, we share it with our students who are our main audience. They are studying uh, at various universities in Bangladesh. So the objective of this webinar is to give them an idea uh, or, you know, like tasks, different tasks that our speaker has been doing and the skills that they have been using in their professional life. So today uh, we have invited uh, Miss Eve. So she is a passionate advocate for social good uh, with a deep commitment uh, to social business impact entrepreneurship and leveraging sport for development and peace. So we are going to learn a lot of things, interesting things from her. So uh, let's welcome uh, Ms. Eve, welcome to our session. Um, welcome, nice to meet you. Uh, so just to introduce myself, uh, I start uh, studying uh, program coordination and uh, philosophy at university. And then I went in Japan where I discovered the sport for development and peace impact. So I continue my career um, in uh, working in the sport field. And that's why I continue in a, a master degree in a sport for development and management. And then I became a youth leader at Peace and Sport. It's an international organization uh, who promotes the sport and athlete uh, with uh, social impact and uh, uh, to create peace. So it was a very uh, amazing and challenging for me to be part of uh, this. After I, I work with uh, many organizations, NGO associations uh, in the sport movement, uh, more particularly, particularly sorry, um, ID Sport, uh, who work with um, disability and also Decathlon, who is a major sport brand in France. And after that, I joined the Uno Sport Hub team uh, to work uh, with um, social business and Professor Yunus, who is a, a Nobel Peace Prize in uh, 2006 and very famous in Bangladesh. So I believe you already know him. And um, also, I just joined the Yunus France team to develop social business into university to allow all, all the students uh, to start an entrepreneurial journey. So oh, that, that's, great. that's uh, a cool as, presentation. Great, that's great because um, as you uh, already have been working with uh, students, so it will be yes. more, uh, you know, like uh, related our discussion and how we will actually explore you know like different things uh, that will be for the betterment of the students so if you, uh, how was your student life and what did you do when you were a student uh, apart from your study um as i said uh, i really involved myself in uh, other activity outside uh, the university so sport of course but also uh, culture art because uh, you can create a lot of uh, project with impact. Uh, you can uh, work with a lot of association, especially in France. I, I don't know, it depends, um, but in France particularly, you have a lot of association and you can um, find uh, another place in, in the society and um, practice in reality what you can do. Uh, in university, you have a lot of uh, theory and uh, outside with association and a sport career you can uh, practice and um, really do what you believe so i, I have a, a really good sport level in judo i am a judo black belt and that's why i i went in japan uh, because it's the country of uh, judo and then i i, I grow a lot and i i can encourage all the students uh, to do the same, to grow personally, because it can help your professional career too. Great, great. And that is very interesting because, you know, like um, uh, we see in professional sector, uh, especially uh, people who 
uh, actively participated in sports, they are more, you know, like agile, they are more challenging, they're more successful uh, in their professional career as well. Exactly. So I think that you have pointed is very, very important that it actually good for health and good for, you know, like um, career as well. So yeah. this is very important because students in most cases, uh, you know, like they waste their time doing, uh, you know, like unfruitful activities. So that is why we try to, you know, like share the importance of doing, uh, you know, like activities apart from their study that actually help them construct maybe some skills, develop some knowledge that would that may you know, help after their graduation in their professional life. So when did you like um, graduate? Um, how, how was like, um, how did you start your professional career if you shared the journey? Uh, when I start my professional career, it wasn't easy because it was uh, really during uh, the COVID time. So all the opportunity was kind of blocked because of uh, the COVID and everyone was blocked uh, in house and particularly the sport movement, uh, all the competition, the sport event uh, were blocked uh, because of that. So I find other way to, to start my professional career, even if I continue to engage in all association and all the sport for impact um, organization. I just begin by uh, Decathlon. As I say, it's uh, a big company, so I learn a lot how to manage a team, how to construct a, a project, uh, even how to work like a uh, a part of my employer were with disability, so how to work with people with disability. And after I, I, I say, okay, it's one step and uh, I want to also build my own project. So it, it can start with entrepreneurship. So you can start your social business idea from a company or from a business. Then you can have all the financial stability. And after when you're ready, you can start your own business. You don't have to just after the university uh, start and uh, from nothing and uh, struggle a lot. Uh, my way was to build a, a double career, one uh, with a company and a sport system and uh, one other with social entrepreneurship uh, because you, you can build uh, together uh, to, to have stability and not only choose uh, just entrepreneurial uh, career because uh, it can be, you know, uh, you can lose uh, maybe your your stability, your, your a lot of rush, a lot of um, be, being an entrepreneur is a, a long journey and you have to just build step by step. So if you want to still learning and have uh, this way, uh, this side of your career, it's, it's better, I think, really. Definitely. So we're going to... Uh, no, no, a, a bit about social entrepreneurship and experience. So, the thing that you've mentioned is, you know, like uh, the way you see, there are some um, sometimes challenging situation uh, comes in our way. So you utilize mm -hmm. it uh, during the COVID. You know, like you utilize your time, and I can uh, reconnect that. Um, I had the opportunity, uh, I got the opportunity to work for Decathlon, but uh, yes. I was pursuing different career. Uh, so I know. I met very interesting people from there in Bangladesh. Yes. So I, I lost the chance, uh, but I was pursuing another career profession mm -hmm. during that time. So it's it's very important, you know, like uh, the way we actually can utilize our time, you know, like even it doesn't matter. Say, for example, we're doing this session, you are uh, in another country, I'm uh, in different country. But we're utilizing time, trying to, you know, like, uh, supply or provide the information from your journey uh, among students online so there are a lot of ways to utilize our time so putting that in mind so can you tell us about your journey and what inspired you to pursue social entrepreneurship yes i, I haven't mentioned yet but i travel a lot uh, even during my study so i start with um uh, an international internship in Japan, but after I joined the Canadian team to organize a sport event in Canada, a judo sport event. Uh, after I work with Peace and Sport in Monaco, 
And then uh, in Decathlon, I was in Switzerland and it's allowed me to work with uh, international team. And even at Uno Sport Hub, uh, we work with international team member. So you, you change your mind because you have to work with different culture, different personality, and the human being in general is very adaptable. So I think for all the, the students to, to I, I don't know how to say, but when, when you are adaptable, with adaptability, you can uh, do whatever you want and work um, around the world. So it's a great quality to, to develop. It's to travel if you have the possibility to work with a different uh, environment. And uh, on my journey, I, I feel like it was natural um, to speak about Decathlon. Uh, they have a, an entrepreneurship program, uh, like they, they can um, help you with an incubator to create your own business and to help you to propel your business. And then after you can uh, work by your own. And so in my entrepreneurial journey, it was all about uh, meeting the right person and also uh, there, like uh, there a lot, speak uh, with the right people and uh, try even if it's not perfect. It's a really entrepreneurial mindset like fake it until you make it but it's not just that it's also step by step try you will improve and you will getting better and better yes, patience patience is very important yes in that industry so <clears throat> what key skills have you gained uh, from your diverse experiences in sports and sustainable development um, what I really enjoy about support social entrepreneur uh, is the, the the spark, like the fire they have uh, inside, uh, like to the passion about their own project. Uh, it's very essential for me uh, to have this fire when you work, uh, because if you are very fascinated about your project, uh, you can continue and continue and you will always find find a meaning in uh, what you do and this is very precious uh, to me because in a professional world sometimes you our generation uh, we feel without meaning in uh, what we are doing or we feel like blocked in a professional life and with uh, social entrepreneurship it's a way to do exactly what we want with the the right impact and uh, have all the the meaning we want to find in life and connect all the actor all the synergy and put also maybe a little part of our own personality in the project that's why we speak a lot about uh, personal branding uh, because it's very positive uh, to gain confidence uh, to speak about uh, what you uh, sorry to speak about your trust so what is uh, the the right thing for you you have to get loud about this and not uh, hide you uh, from the world because you can uh, change the world with very little little step definitely and along the way you need right people that um you know, like when people to support so can you describe um, a specific project you worked on uh, that made a significant impact on you? Uh, yes, uh, one project, uh, th there is a lot of projects actually, but one is Talent 2024. We support uh, youth people to build social um, business in France and they, they develop a lot a uh, lot of business in sport. Uh, it's linked with Olympic game, but also French university. Uh, for example, um, one uh, develop uh, sport medicine association. So it is um, sport session, but like uh, a medicine, you have to do uh, three jumping jacks, three push up uh, to enhance your health. Uh, and uh, they work with uh, people with disability. Uh, also, we have uh, one project, P2C. It's a cask for rugby women and rugby men who play to, 
uh, discover if there is, uh, you know, if you have a shock and you struggle uh, with your sport practice, the cask can uh, allow you to, to do what you have to do uh, to have a, a right health. Also, we have another project at Mosgir. Uh, he developed uh, electric rollers. So he practiced a lot of roller when he were young. And then he, he, he become an engineer. So he want to develop electric roller to have a better um, mobility and also to change the impact of uh, his own sport in the Olympic game and into the world. So it's uh, very good. We have a lot of projects like this. But before that, the, the first project very close to my heart was in Japan. I worked with um, judo, uh, Shibata sensei, my sensei at judo and a prisoner in Japan uh, to create a um, training sport session uh, with prisoner and with student to give a prisoner a place into society. So with this project, I just realized uh, the impact of sport in the society, because uh, when you are a prisoner in Japan, you lose uh, your name, your family link, everything. Uh, so to to have again an identity and uh, self confidence is very hard. And with sport, we we succeed to give them a place in the society. Uh, it's the same. Sorry, I I have a very a lot of projects, so I continue. Uh, but we have All another right. project with uh, Kabubu. It's a sport association in France who work with refugee. And same, they give a, a new place in the society for people who just came here and it's not their country. And with a sport and with sport skills also, they can become a sport coach. Uh, all the, the, the world you, you can have, uh, the work you can have in sport, they became sport worker. And then they have a, a work. They have a place in society and they have also friends because they meet people and uh, they not only refugee people or people with disability. They they became a, a, a very a person a very uh, linked with the society and not uh, a part. Uh, you know, vulnerable people who just uh, give up and uh, don't want to to continue to to do stuff and project. I don't know if it's clear, but uh, all the this uh, project uh, very impactful for me because it's very clear what the, what is the impact, and uh, I saw a lot of people who change uh, their life like this. So that that's why I'm very passionate about uh, what I am doing. Great. And what are the main uh, you know like the barriers to social inclusion in sports, and how can we overcome them? Uh, sorry again. Uh, what are the main barriers or you know like challenges? Uh, ah yes. To social inclusion in sports and how can we overcome them? Uh, um, I think it's just the mentality. Uh, same with uh, refugee person, the people just think bad thing about them same with disability and inclusion uh, sometimes the the group uh, feel like uh, really a sport uh, orientation like they want sport performance so they say if we accept in the group uh, other people uh, we lose our performance because uh, they will get uh, you know pu push to the back not uh, to the best so that, that's why they, they have a very bad mentality about it. So I feel like uh, awareness and also practice to organize um, common uh, training. Uh, it's a great way to, to put a lot of dialogue between uh, people that they can uh, meet each other and uh, break the barrier. It's very uh, uh, cliche to say this. But th there is a lot of uh, people who have like a stereotype um, and they, they believe like because of a stranger, they cannot work together. And that's why I, I feel like travel is it's a very good uh, tool because you, you change uh, your mind about uh, what you think is true, 
uh, your your culture, your religion, your personality, everything. You can see there is uh, outside into the world uh, other way of uh, living and experience life. Also other way to see the world because the world can can have a, a lot of different meaning. Uh, so it's very very powerful for me to just stop uh, your ego and just think about what you think it's true. Uh, one sentence I really like, it's uh, like it, it is good to feel you're on the right road, but it's another thing to believe it's the only road good for uh, everyone. And uh, that's powerful. You, you have to keep in mind uh, that uh, a lot of road uh, exists in the world. Definitely. And, you know, like people who study a lot, apart from, you know, like traveling, uh, actually, it helps them to uh, broaden their mindset. It actually helps them to see, uh, experience things in different ways that they are heard. They are actually informed through different media. So it's very important. So, you know, like how can, as you are uh, working with sports, how can sports be a powerful tool for sustainable development and peace? Uh to speak really about Yunus Portem, so what I am doing with uh, Professor Yunus, it's really a linked uh, social business uh, with the sport movement. So I think uh, create or support the social entrepreneur of uh, tomorrow. It's a good way to promote, uh, you know, social development goals and all the social and environmental uh, positive impact. Uh, for the next generation. Uh, we build um, also social business and we develop uh, a lot of um, new way to create synergy uh, with the different actors. But also my work with Peace and Sport, it's really uh, how to manage to create uh, peace uh, with the sport ecosystem and also the politic and government movement. Uh, so I think sport, it's uh, uh, good tools for that. For example, the Olympic game, it can be both, but it's also um, a player, like um, a way to have all the players to create a little piece. Originally, the you know, the antique Olympic game, it was this. It was we stopped the war between uh, uh, 10 days just to have the, the Olympic game and to create a international cooperation. So I think sport uh, still have this tool, even if we can use this tool uh, for bad or good purpose, uh, we can uh, still um, develop this as uh, is doing uh, peace and sport to promote awareness. They also um, promote uh, all the athletes. So when an athlete uh, like uh, Didier Drogba who is a vice president, but uh, all the athletes who promote a sport for good, they promote them uh, like to share the success story and to inspire other athletes to do the same. And then all the, the sport, the sport person who do the same sport, for example, um, I am a, a, a judo cat. So if I, I see um, Clarissa Benenou or Teddy Rina who practice Sport for Good, I, I want to do the same and I want to give uh, a judo a positive impact. And I, I saw like the International Judo Federation um, develop uh, a refugee team. And that's very good like to impact all the sport system and also the society, because we, we can uh, develop inclusion in general. Uh, also, I can um, give an um, example of um, project sport project with uh, social impact. I already speak about uh, some of them. Uh, but okay. But there, there is a lot of uh, social entrepreneurs we, we train. Uh, for example, uh, I have one person in mind. Uh, he is a, an Olympian uh, who worked in uh, Burundi and he developed a sport organization, but also medical organization to allow everyone to have access to hospital and also um, agriculture. 
so he, he, he transform and um, uh, he sell a, a lot of food from Burundi. And just with this three action, but it's huge, and with his foundation, he can create a very positive impact in Burundi. And uh, that's why we, we continue to work with him. It's unbelievable the impact uh, one human being can have uh, because he he has a role model and uh, he's a champion. Uh, he, he can do a lot of things. And also we find there is a lot of... Uh, conjecture between uh, a sport career and an entrepreneurial journey because you have to you know have a big step uh, like prepare for a big competition so you have to to do step by step to um, develop your skills to be the b b best version of yourself and it's the same in sport and in entrepreneurial journey and you have to keep going and to you know when you're an athlete that you have a good day and by day bad day sorry so it will be exactly the same in entrepreneurial journey yeah. you know that your, your staff have to be very good the people you work with because it can they can you know enter in your head and tell you bad thing but in the positive way they can keep you like push you when you mental go down so everything is very connect that's why we encourage people to practice like boss to have a, a sport practice and also an entrepreneurial journey it's very like a com complementary it's very uh, work together definitely and the thing that you mentioned is uh, really true because um sports is challenging mm -hmm. and you know like it needs a lot of practice a lot of you know like hard work patience yes. so if you, you will find it um, similar uh, in entrepreneurship so you know like sports is, it has you know a tremendous impact in our life uh, all through our life as well so um, can you share what role can international organizations play in promoting sports as a tool for sustainable development they already like uh, develop uh, this uh, impact with uh, international funds. So um, I, I know um, UNESCO developed Fit for Life. So and uh, MINEPS, it's an international fund to promote uh, sport for development uh, into the world. Uh, but also, I really believe in uh, entrepreneurship. So if all the international organization all, allow all the co-workers to create uh, their own project, even into the company, uh, it can create a lot of new social business and uh, social entrepreneur who can uh, become a player like a game changer in the world. So it's a, a way for me to, to form the next generation. It's a, a big impact and not only, you know, uh, being blocked with uh, some politics synergy, but nothing concrete. This is very concrete funds and also um, uh, entrepreneurship. You can uh, start your journey and uh, it's very pow powerful for me. Great. And um, what are your sources of inspiration for your work? I, I, I find a lot of um, uh, inspiration in uh, the, the, the people I support. Uh, two, two other uh, person I think ab about it's one who create um, intelligent trash like you put your your trash in a box and they scan it and they directly uh, put the trash in the right container then you have all the the system who treat the trash and you have um, uh, ecology uh, environmental uh, positive impact because you don't have to to you know, to manage how to put uh, your trash. Uh, it's directly the box who did it for you. Also in uh, Africa, we have a lot of projects in uh, ecology and environmental impact, uh, who is very uh, powerful. They use trash to like uh, develop uh, other objects. They build a uh, school, they create a decoration object, then they can sell it. Uh, also they create, um, uh, environmental energy, solar energy. They use uh, all the solar energy to 
work with uh, electricity and uh, with uh, all the house and the organization, the infrastructure. So it's very uh, powerful. Uh, I'm always amazed uh, about uh, all uh, the, the people can uh, develop, even if they are very poor and uh, without a lot of skills, because your own uh, intelligence is uh, much powerful than everything. And uh, also, I'm uh, very inspired about uh, Professor Yunus. Uh, I am working with uh, for him, uh, and I read uh, all his book, and it's very uh, inspiring. Uh, all the speech, the pitch story I uh, he hear about him, uh, it's al always a call to action. I feel like uh, I am capable of doing uh, almost uh, anything, and it's a great way like to inspire. Uh, all the time, it's a step by step. You can do it. You you have a little step to to just uh, start your entrepreneurial journey, and uh, that that's why uh, the the first uh, social business I, I start in France uh, was in um, disability sport. So I create a platform where uh, all the person with disability who want to train and all the sport club uh, who propose a sport activity for people with disability can connect. Because when you have a disability, it's very hard to find a club uh, who have all the resources, the human resource, the, the material and everything to welcome you. So this platform allows all the people in France to just go on it, say, I want to do this sport in uh, this region or department. And directly, I can connect with the right person, Carl, or just uh, know what is the hour of the training and just go. Uh, so it's uh, really little tools, but uh, with entrepreneurial mindset, you can just say, oh, there is a, a social or environmental problem. Uh, I, I can uh, create a solution. Uh, we, I can use a circular economy and uh, without a lot of effort, just uh, start something and uh, it can develop uh, almost uh, sustainably like uh, themselves and continue to grow. Great. And all through your activities, how do you find it uh, impactful, the things that you have done? How do you see it? How do you see that uh, your work uh, or whatever you have been doing uh, um, are somehow creating an impact uh, for the community? How do you measure it, see it? Um, I, I, I can you reformulate, please? Your yeah, sure. So the thing is, you know, like you've been uh, working um, this social entrepreneurship and some activities that you have been doing. So through your work, how do you see it uh, that your work is creating impact in the community? Uh, so how we evaluate the impact? Yeah. So we have a um, KPI. It's very like uh, famous in uh, this sector. Uh, we evaluate the number of uh, social business uh, we create. Uh, we also evaluate uh, the number of people with disability we trained. Uh, it's uh, also like um, the, the people uh, we train to create a social business, we evaluate how much or how many people uh, they impact positively. So, uh, for example, if uh, uh, we train someone to create um, a sport organization for people with disability, and this sport organization uh, train uh, 1,000 uh, person, uh, we evaluate that uh, because of just one person we train, 1,000 have now access uh, at sport for person with disability. So that, that's why it's um, it's really good. Uh, you have uh, only um, little uh, KPIs, but also you can, with a little action, impact a lot of person because of this effect. It can, um, we use all the butterfly effect, I think, but in a positive way, because one step can uh, impact uh, everything. Uh, so uh, another thing we we evaluate it's um, the international aspect. So where we develop uh, our project. So for example, uh, 
uh, how many percent in uh, Africa, how many percent in Asia, we evaluate uh, how much people we train who are from the, the poorest of the poor. It's uh, one philosophy of Professor Yunus. Uh, it's really to help the most vulnerable and poorest people. And uh, the majority are women. That's why we develop also program uh, for women specifically and entrepreneurship for women in Senegal, in Africa, for example. It's one of our programs. Because when you see uh, worldwide, uh, when you want to focus uh, in uh, a problem of uh, poverty, for example, you realize that like uh, most uh, of them are women. That, that's why we want to focus on these two. Great, that is great that all uh, what, uh, you have been doing so far. So uh, what advice would you give to young people interested in getting involved in social entrepreneurship? And um, for students who are studying currently at the university, what advice would, would you give to them? Um, what skills they should develop before graduation? So two questions. For, for me, the, the most important skills uh, is uh, program coordination because I, I learned a lot of theory about uh, social business, social entrepreneurship and how to develop a business and sometimes I was a lot uh, blocked in my uh, intellectual uh, uh, question like um, I, I write a lot of theory but when you practice and you want to start a project it can be just start with a sport project or association, art, culture as I said and you realize that uh, already in your life, you are doing this, but you you never put uh, this word this word yes uh, in uh, this activity. But even when you organize uh, an event, uh, private event for your family, and you want to uh, I don't know create a surprise and uh, um, you know uh, find a, a real uh, great event and organize all the stuff around its uh, skills with um, event coordination and it can become program coordination when you start to understand that you can develop a lot of synergy um, by uh, involving all the shareholders uh, in the project and then uh, grow, like uh, change your scales step by step. Uh, and it's very, very uh, powerful for me. It's like to just start a very concrete uh, course about social entrepreneurship, but very concrete. Like um, we have uh, the jump um, training uh, at Shunus Portable. Uh, we just like uh, give the the basics of social business, but you have to implement it directly in your social business and try. I I did um, a course also with Acumen about uh, human being design and social entrepreneurship, and uh, I connect with other social entrepreneurs and. Uh, because of the intelligence, collective intelligence, we resolve a lot of uh, problems by group. And I feel uh, it's very powerful to, like, to connect with uh, other students uh, to create uh, an impact together. Uh, that's why uh, Professor Yunus created the 30 Club for students and uh, in the university. Uh, we have Yunus Social Business Center uh, in the university, but, but also 30 Club specifically for a student you can uh, directly enter and connect you have to form a group of uh, five persons uh, to become a club and then uh, you have all the network and all the skills uh, that allow you to start your journey so i feel it's very powerful and uh, professor yunus uh, when you become a, a 30 club i uh, give you access to um, eight modules of uh, free course you can follow to understand step by step uh, all the your entrepreneurial journey. Um, in our incubator, we have like a thematic, very um, common, but it's uh, to uh, start with some something. So first, it's uh, environmental and social uh, impact. After you have MVP, so minimum viable product, to to check if your product of your your service is viable uh, on. Uh, environmental and in society. After you have marketing and branding, uh, after finance part and uh, also uh, fundraising, fundraising, sorry. Um, 
Five, it's a uh, human resource and organization because if you have a project, you have to put, uh, you know, your statue, legal statue uh, to create an association or a company, even a foundation, you have to put your statue. And finally, you have the sales part, like to start to sell because uh, it's uh, like the most important you when you are, want to have a, a good positive um, impact you only think about uh, being volunteer at first but it's very um, a necessity like to get paid because uh, you you cannot live uh, without it so find a way to find a client even if your client and your beneficiary are different you can find a client to help people and that's why we we push uh, students and uh, people in general in social entrepreneurship it's to have a decent life and access to dignity with a social impact. Absolutely amazing. And, you know, like uh, passion is also important, you know, like uh, because it's a long drive. So yes. people, they don't have passion. Um, they are not passionate about, you know, like this uh, social enterprise mm. and uh, creating impact. You know, like it, this role is not for them. And all through your discussion, you have mentioned different things. The continuous uh, learning mentality, you know, and yes. um, the seeing the purpose of life clearly, uh, or the things that, say, for example, you are doing, you know your purpose, you uh, are very clear about what you are doing, um, you are clear about what impacts you are creating. You know, like uh, in the community, this is um, this is very important, and for students as well or professionals, along with them, if we don't actually have any mission or vision or clear objective of what we are doing, it will actually not going to be sustainable or it will not run in the long run. So this is um, the take uh, some of the takeaways that you have shared, um, the skills that you have shared. It's very important, you know, like uh, awareness uh, creation for students through this webinar is one of our, you know, like objectives that uh, by learning your profession, the things that you have uh, been doing, they will understand about, you know, like uh, why people do what they have been doing, you know. Um, so the purpose and the skills, mindset, it actually helps them to, you know, like empower themselves and um, awaken their soul or mindset um it actually broadened their uh, mentality as well so uh if thank you so much you know like um in short time we have been trying to share your experiences and some advice that you have shared uh with our students um who uh, are listening to it right now and who is going to watch it later it will be a helpful uh an insightful session for them to learn uh, something new things from uh, your experiences and on behalf of you know, like School of Entrepreneurship Development, we wish you very best of luck and we're grateful for your time that you have invested with us today. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Have a good day. Bye. Thank